Alright. Traffic engineers know that everyone breaks traffic laws. Engineers break traffic laws. Police officers break traffic laws. Everybody breaks, to one degree or another, traffic laws. Maybe they don't come to a complete stop at a sign. Maybe they go a little bit over the speed limit. Uh, maybe they accelerate through that yellow light. Uh, maybe they drive too fast by the guy with the camera. Whatever it is, we know that people break traffic laws all the time. Here's the disconnect. What that means is that enforcement of traffic laws is purely discretionary. Engineers will often say, well, that's an enforcement issue. But the enforcement issues are all discretionary. They're all uh, chosen it, using one criteria or another. Often the criteria is, where are we experiencing the most crime? Police officers will go to high crime areas, high crime areas, and they will pull people over for things that if they went to the nice upscale suburban neighborhood, they could pull people over for all day long. This has created a certain amount of tension in our society. Tension around the enforcement of traffic laws. Engineers need to change. They need to respect and understand the fact that they're building systems that people use imperfectly. And they need to uh, follow up incidents of repeated violation with design changes. If there's an intersection where people are constantly speeding through, it's not that people are deviants, it's that the intersection is designed wrong. If there are continuous tickets being written for people speeding in a certain segment, that is not because people are deviant, that's because the design is telling them it's okay to speed here. We can use enforcement as a tool for a small percentage of people who are truly breaking the law. But if everybody is violating a certain provision in a place, that's a design change that needs to happen. Engineers need to own that. My name is Chuck Marone, and that is my confession. That was really good.